stem cells in our body contribute to building and repairing blood vessels. People who have coronary artery disease, the blood vessels in these people are doing not that well. Then researchers have given them two cups of This is what's amazing has been found. Not only got into the bloodstream, but they doubled the number of stem cells circulating in your blood vessels, and they doubled the resiliency of your blood vessels just over the course of a month. You might be amazed to know that one cup of a day has been shown to actually reduce cognitive decline and also reduce the depression that comes with cognitive decline. We actually discovered many natural substances in our food that can stimulate stem cells to help do their repair. The source of stem cell activating substances are building and repairing blood vessels. So that was sort of mm. how I became interested in and, and quite familiar and, and actually worked on stem cell research in the lab. Um, we, we actually discovered many chemical substances that can stimulate stem cells to help do their repair. And so when I began studying food as medicine, one of the things that I, it was remarkable to discover is that some of the synthetic chemicals that you could order from a, a research shop could actually stimulate stem cells. But then it was really jaw dropping to me. In fact, one of the most um, light bulb going off moments that I had as a food as medicine researcher to discover that natural substances in our food can similarly activate our stem cells and call them into action. And without necessarily putting out a distress call, we can just gently coax our body's own reserve into action to help repair ourselves in a more robust way. So first of all, this is, we're at the beginning of, you know, a new era looking at regenerative foods, foods that can stimulate regeneration. So I don't have like the uh, wrapped gift box to give you of a laundry list of all the foods known to man. Mm -hmm. We're still doing research on this, but I'll tell you, I'll give you some examples because, um, and when I talk, by the way, uh, Rangan, I, I really refer uh, uh, to both laboratory, but also to human evidence, which I think is really important. Mm. You know, something we see in the lab is interesting and they can actually raise an idea. But at the end of the, at the end of the day, it's whether or not it works in people that makes all the difference in the world. So I'm going to kind of um, flip back and forth a little bit, but always emphasize what we know in people. So first of all, um, you might uh, not be surprised that the source of stem cell activating uh, substances are plant-based foods. Mother Nature's sort of uh, 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 medicine cabinet are fruits and vegetables, nuts and legumes, and healthy oils and seeds, you know, omega sources of omega-3s. Um, uh, so uh, researchers have been actually mining the same uh, uh, pharmacopoeia, uh, farm with an F, not a PH, um, looking at what substances are in nature that can stimulate stem cells. So I'll give you an example. We know that there's a, uh, a, a natural bioactive, a natural chemical found in plants called ursolic acid. Okay, that's U-R-S-O-L-I-C, ursolic acid. It's found in fruit peel, right? The peel of an apple, the peel of a pear, uh, the peel of... Uh, uh, cranberries, a peel, of a peel of blueberries, right? These are fruit peels. And most likely, if you have eaten an apple, you're not, I mean, unless you were a kid and, and your grandmother peeled the apple for you, <laughs> you just take an apple and clean it and then just eat the whole thing, right? The peel's got a good source of dietary fiber and ursolic acid. Ursolic acid has been shown to stimulate stem cells to come out of the bone marrow and help to stimulate regeneration and to repair blood vessels, for example. Quite amazing, mm. all right? That's an example. Um, there's another substance that has been discovered called beta-D-glucan. Now, this is a soluble fiber, which we know is good for gut health, um, and it does a lot of other interesting things, too, that are beneficial for the body. But beta-glucan has been discovered to stimulate stem cells. Now, where do you get beta-glucan? You can find them in uh, mushrooms, both the cap and the stipe, the stem of the mushroom has beta-glucan. In fact, the, the, the stem of the mushroom has twice as much beta-glucan as the cap of the mushroom. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, if you're actually preparing food um, and you know, you're, you're preparing, you're cooking mushrooms, please don't throw the stems away because 
they have a lot of goodness to them. Um, uh, you can utilize them. It's sustainable cooking, keep all the food parts and use them, and they're good for you. Um, oats also has beta do glucan. You know, if you're actually having um, steel cut oats for breakfast, for example, uh, uh, is another source of beta uh, glucan and barley. Now, barley has actually been studied uh, with beta glucan to look at stimulating the stem cells that can regenerate your circulation, that can help to repair and grow new blood vessels where they're needed. And this is exactly in my wheelhouse to study circulation. So we took this even further to look at the role of other foods that can stimulate stem cells. And one of them is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate has a very particular benefit because first of all, chocolate is a confection. It's a candy. It's made, you know, uh, it's crafted to be sweet and delicious. And most people like dark chocolate, but it is contains a plant-based uh, food ingredient. And that's cacao. Cacao comes from a tropical tree where the seed pod of the cacao is, is shaped like an American football. It can be bright yellow. It could be brown. If you pick one up, it's kind of heavy. You shake it and you can feel the heavy chestnut-like seeds shaking around. And that, that those seeds are the ones that are um, uh, dried, fermented, ground into a powder and used uh, by percent to actually make chocolate. So if you have a 50% uh, cacao chocolate. It's got half of the cacao. If you've got 80 percent, it's got a lot more, 90 percent, etc. Well, what research has been done shown that 80 percent or higher cacao puts enough of a natural plant-based bioactive called proanthocyanidin into your bloodstream. So this has been measured. And in in the clinic, if you actually give people who have let's say coronary artery disease. So they've got narrowing of their blood vessels and stiff, hard blood vessels. Mm -hmm. All right. So these are, these are not, these are not people at their optimal state of health. If you um, measure their stem cells and then, then see how many stem cells are floating around their blood, which is not many. And then you were to actually um, do a simple test called flow mediated dilation, FMD um, to check how resilient their blood vessels are. Basically, it's a blood pressure cuff. You blow it up and you put an ultrasound uh, in your uh, uh, in the crook of your arm and then you let the blood pressure uh, cuff uh, deflate quickly. You see what happens to your, how well your uh, circulation, your blood vessels recover from compression from the cuff. That's a reflection of vascular blood vessel circulatory health. If you do that at baseline to see um, how well uh, the blood vessels in these people are doing not that well. Then uh, researchers have given them two cups of dark chocolate in the form of hot, hot chocolate. That's it. Two cups uh, to have a day for 30 days. And at the end of 30 days, you measure, take out your blood and measure the stem cells again, and then do that flow mediated dilation resiliency test again of the blood vessels to see, have they changed? This is what's amazing has been found that dark chocolate, the proanthocyanidins, not only got into the bloodstream, but they doubled the number of stem cells circulating in your blood vessels, and they doubled the resiliency, improved the, the, by, by twofold, the resiliency of your blood vessels just over the course of a month with as little as two cups of hot chocolate that's dark. So olive oil, uh, is a healthy fat, as they say. It's a plant-based food. It comes from plants, the olives, uh, and it uh, contains bioactives, many bioactives. Some of them have been identified. The ones that actually uh, have been best studied, one of them is called hydroxytyrosol. The other one is called oleocanthal. And, you know, for people who are listening, you know, if you're a science geek, you can write all this stuff down. But just know that there are these natural substances that 